In the write-through approach, whenever the data is updated in the local cache, it will be simultaneously updated in the shared memory too. So each write requires an update in both the places every time. So here the traffic will be more but the data will be safe and the main memory is always updated to service the request from any other processor at any time. So there can be multiple writes to the same data or to different data within the same block. In the write back approach for every write we never update the main memory. Only when we replace that block in the cache, the final value will be written to the main memory. So, till the value is updated, the processor will stop the main memory from replying to any other read request from any other processor. This write through and write back are the two approaches which are used to synchronize the cache with the main memory. Next we will discuss the approaches which are used to synchronize the local caches within the same level. In the write update approach, whenever a processor writes to a shared data in its local cache, it broadcasts the updated value to all other local cache. Thus, any other local cache having this shared location will update it. In write invalidate, the processor who wishes to write to some shared data in its local cache will send an invalidation signal to all other local cache. Instead of sending the updated value, it sends an invalidation signal to all other local cache. Now, any other local cache having this shared location will make it invalid and never use it. Once all the copies are invalidated, the changes are made to it by the processor. As we have seen, the cache coherence protocol uses a combination of these four approaches to ensure the global data is same everywhere throughout the system, such as write through with write update, write through with write invalidate, write back with write update, and write back with write invalidate. So when write through is used with write update, whenever the data is updated in some local cache, correspondingly, it will be updated in the shared memory. Also, the updated value will be broadcasted to all other local cache. Hence, if any other local cache having the shared location will update the value. Thus, every write requires an update in the shared memory. Also the valid message or the new value should be broadcasted to all other local cache. And in write through with a write invalidate, whenever the processor updates the shared data in its local cache, since write through is used, simultaneously it will be updated in the main memory and an invalid message will be broadcasted to all other local cache. So any other local cache having the shared location will mark it as invalid. And since this is write through, every update requires a corresponding update in the shared memory. But if there are no intervening reads by any other processor, for every further multiple writes, no need to send the invalid message to other local cache. The invalid signal is required only for the first write on this block. In write back with write update, for every write we never update the shared memory but we broadcast the updated value to all other local cache. Thus local caches having the shared location will update the value. And the shared memory will be updated only when we replace the block. And in write back with write invalidate, for every write we never update the main memory. But we send the invalid signal to all other local cache. Thus the local caches having this shared location will mark it as invalid and never use it. Also, if there are no intervening reads by any other processor, for the further writes no need of again sending the invalid signal. And finally, when this block is replaced, the value is updated to the main memory.